was not any lung cancer screening tests. They have just now developed one, which is just now coming out on the market. Um, and there's not a lot of education. I mean, you know, there, there are prostate exams and breast exams and nothing for lung cancer. So, you know, I'm here to really push the American Lung Association to take a greater role in lung cancer research, advocacy, and education. Um, because I can tell you when, I, when I, I started going to a lung cancer support group, and a lot of them talked about how they, the first place they went to for information was the American Lung Association. And um, although you all play a part of it, I really want to do a call to action to really take a greater step um, into, even if it's just education and awareness, um, you know, I, I'm here to tell you that I will dedicate whatever I need to do to help you guys support that mission. My husband and I um, are going to be living here part-time while I get treatment at the University of Colorado Hospital Cancer Center. We've switched all of our treatment here because it's one of the best places in the country. So we will be here and we will dedicate our time and volunteer and speak to people uh, to talk about this because without, without funding for lung cancer clinical trials, there's, there's not a lot of hope. I'm just going to be straightforward with you. There's not. I've gone through every option. Um, I've done about 40 rounds of radiation, four kinds of chemotherapy, um, some oral chemo th chemotherapies, just, I've been through the ringer. And uh, right now is a good time because it's the first time I've been off treatment in two and a half years. Uh, so this is unusual <laughs> that, I, that I'm feeling this good, but um, I just, I can't stress enough how we need to talk to people about the warning signs of lung cancer, because it is a dry, tickly cough. It is getting really tired. It is being fatigued. And I know those symptoms sound really vague, but if you have them, you're going to know. And I wish I would have known. I wish I would have known six months earlier, because you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking, what if I had found out six months earlier? Maybe it wouldn't be stage four. I mean, you never, you never know. You're going to second guess yourself. But you do think that. And so I just think we... We really need to push that. We really need to push money towards lung cancer research funding because uh, that's what I'm waiting for right now. I'm out of options. Uh, if my cancer makes a move, uh, we'll do chemotherapy to try to keep it under control as a last resort. But um, I've been told that I'm incurable, that I'll always have cancer. I'll never be in remission. And uh, unless we get that magical clinical trial, which they are doing, they're doing them in Europe right now. We're waiting to get them here at National Cancer Institute, such as Colorado, MD Anderson, Sloan Kettering. But it needs funding. And lung cancer kills more than prostate, breast, and colon cancer combined, and yet it receives the least amount of funding. And I know you guys all know why that is. Because of the stigma that if you have lung cancer, you smoked. And smoking's a choice, so, you know, maybe you deserve to get lung cancer. You made that choice to smoke. But you know what? There's 8 to 10% of us that didn't. And there's a larger percent of people that quit smoking 25 years ago this are still getting lung cancer. So it's not just smokers. And you know what? Even if you do smoke, nobody deserves to get cancer. So we need to tell people that. And I don't know. I could go on and on forever. But 